All right, how's it going, everybody? This is Is Morta, and this evening, on Friday the thirteenth, under the Harvest Moon, which is a full moon, we'll be playing some and raising some Diablo Three Reaper of, of Souls. So the plan for this evening is I'm going to do the highest difficulty that I've done yet, but I'm going to try to do it for every element. I typically only do it for bounties. And I'm going to try it for rifts, greater rifts, and the infernal machines. We're going to get it done. I may be successful. I may die trying, but we'll find out. This is the day to do it. So before I get started, I'm just going to check the Twitch audio. So if I hang on one second. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, I think sound is okay. So, we'll get started. So like I said, I'm gonna do Torment 7 and all these items um, and give it a shot first. Um, and then afterwards, I may tailor the Torment to make something more difficult or less difficult after the fact, but I'm definitely going to attempt all three of those things in Torment 7. Let's do it. This is the current look of my hero. It's got some transmog action going on. I'm trying to make it as coherent a look as possible. I really want, what I want the look to match is actually the head and shoulders, which I really like, with the white and gold, but with the red trim. And you see his shoulders and his headpiece forming a total mouth with the upper and lower jaws, which is pretty cool. That sort of matches the color scheme of like having bone and demons too. Now, what I've also done right before we started was I, I rebalanced some of my gear and then I transmogged it to make it look a little bit better for the balancing of the ratio of abilities. The fact that I wanted to have primarily toughness and my secondary that I try to have high is my um, damage followed by recovery. With the idea that if I have a high toughness, I can survive an attack. And to regain health, all I have to do is my potion. I just need to ensure to not get hit where possible. If I need to do damage, because if I don't kill something, I won't hit timers or the guys will surround me. And then recovery just passively get can how much health do you just passively get by the things that you do? Um, I increased also my speed by this piece of gear, which I want to get the whole set of, of the Endless Walk, because it's really awesome, but I don't, I don't have the Traveler's Pledge yet. As well as, I, I changed my Spirit Walk from 15% additional healing to double movement, because if I can get away from the enemy, I can dodge attacks, as opposed to getting 15% more health and potentially getting hit multiple times, is the idea there. Because I have ways, including um, St. Archu's Gauge and Boots of Disregard, to gain the health back once I get the fuck out of there. So. Granted, if you're doing a greater rift, you, you don't have time to bail. You have to stay in the fight to beat, to beat the timers. If you're doing higher diff, uh, level difficulties, but again, we'll see how it goes. Um... But yeah, otherwise everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, I did clean up my bag so I have more, a little more chest space and a lot more inventory space so we can collect. So let me check the chatty. Right, so let's go do it. We're gonna start with normal rifts because what I found difficulty-wise when you do, and I could be wrong, when you do any level of difficulty. It gets harder when you go from bounties, then to rifts, then to greater rifts, then to infernals. I could be wrong, but that's why that's what I noticed difficulty-wise, at least for my character anyway. So I'm going to do, follow that pattern. And the last stream I did bounties, so now I'm going to do one normal rift, one greater rift. I do have a bunch of infernals here, one of every type that I can attempt. And then afterwards, if I decide to play a little bit longer because it's Friday the 13th, 
I'll adjust the difficulty so it's comfortable and just bang out killing some demonic baddies. Alright, so we can start with one of these, and plus by doing this we'll, we'll uh, unlock more graders also. I wish you luck, hero. Let's do it. When you do the normal rifts, you just have to get have, have enough progression. Whereas a greater rift, it's a progression bar, and you have to beat a timer. So this will be a good check to see how. I'm liking it. I'm not gonna die. Great move. Oh boy. Got a lot of damage coming our way. Wise, I don't think I'd get past a like a DPS performance of seven greater rest. The best time for me to come up with more stuff in the world is to write them in the log file goes off because then I can uh, just wrap and just kind of expect them to have one. And then I'll spread all the other eggs. That's why I did most of the attack last. I do the bot, 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 And if you forgot my son, which was spot on my shadow phone is now like a 40 as well. I don't remember guys die, I have a chance to lose the son of those uh TV guys that are running around. Whereas my little zombie dog, they uh one spawns like every six or eight seconds. So I actually do more damage if I can if I can have 
if I'm attacking hard, it's actually a close lot. Because I am gonna kill somehow. Definitely want to have a build that max up and play all the way down. Plus, I'm having one attack that I can burn because if you don't have any of your mana, you're not really effective. I have a bunch of abilities that it doesn't quite track in when I look at all the stats. Talking about certain things that proc certain times as far as when it needs damage for certain elites or demons or need more time. Jeez. I think that I think it was like A B poison or something. I strike at your heart. Yeah, because I'm into my combo, I always go for like half my one rule, and half the 8 seconds to get back. So, in the 8 seconds of the same time, it's really more than the main mana that I have the application of my Lotus. Like, 
like I'm just gonna take one step down and drop it there. So it looks like two seconds.
there. I need to go back. But the fact that like the BPS and the uh, hardest can hit, I really don't think I can do a timer, even though I can, I can snail through it. Thank you for coming here. There are many bounties to undertake nearby. I don't want to talk to you. Well fought, Nephilim. Achievements we did get. Consumer culture. Oh, uh, talk to everybody. Guess I just didn't talk to everybody. Before that, was something else, which I, I've already missed. All right. Cool. Let me see what's going on in the chats. Yo, yo. Happy Friday, thirteenth. Uh, Anacros TV. Uh, just noticed you since I was in the middle of a run. Um. Yeah. Next up, I'm gonna do a greater rift. As well as um, every single infernal machine, but I think I'm going to uh, switch difficulty to six just because I th think right now it's barely possible. So let me change the to torment six, and then I'll jump on a greater rift. Because I know I'm, I'm not going to beat the timer, and from how much damage I was taking from that clone, it will look like Diablo. Meta Diablo bosses you know, can hit me pretty hard. Oh, I can just do it here. Okay, we're we'll lower at six. Okay. Alright, so now we will jump in and get some water. We'll do a greater rift, which is a timed event. My stomach feels strange. Did you forget to eat again? No. In fact, I decided to get the day's eating out of the way all at once. I kept at it until I couldn't take another bite. Well, it sounds like you ate too much then. Being a mortal is very complicated. I don't think there's anything else I want to change at the moment. I can I can hold the upteen number of shards, so I think I'm good as far as that goes. So let's do it. Cool, thanks, uh, Zerkin. Let's go jump in on. Find some greater ways to die. Just do I do? I, I'm assuming this is the highest one I've completed so far. Is level 25? I think. I, f I forget how this automatically does it. I know seven. I can't do this, so maybe I'll try. I, well, maybe I'll just try a 25 one. It don't keep upping it if I can get past it in time. So let's do it. I have four. And then you can also do an empowered rift, but you have to spend a shit ton of gold to do it.
then it basically gives you another opportunity to upgrade the legendary gem if you complete in the power ref, which I assume is even harder. Or maybe has a more restrictive timer. But you already can get modifications to your legendary gems if you just don't die and you beat the timer. And that's what I'm gunning for, so let's do it. We're going to do level 25. Alright, here we go. Whoops. Level 25. Many Nephilim have stood where you are now. I have to do this as fast as humanly possible. Oh, 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 oh. This crap is very entrance though, it's all super bad. This is not going to start out pretty good. The other thing I need to try to pay attention to is where the fuck you go. If you get lost, the timer doesn't care. So yeah, I have to kind of try to like get the fresh Oh, that was a bad one. Oh, that was a bad one. Oh, that was Alright, so far we're barely being the timer, but we're doing the same thing. Time. Looks like to the right. Go 
think I gotta catch up now.
pretty good, but I just have to be careful the boss is the boss, but I just like to do it the truth oh, I'm a kill. I want to have decent advantage. I do not have enough mana. Stuff to identify. We got one new gem. Increase killing by 10% become immune to control pairing. That's good, but the Alright, so what I want to increase is gain of the powerful first, and secondly, the esoteric alteration. It's like reduce non physical damage. But being the powerful is, I can get. Increase the amount of da increased damage after killing elite pack, and then if I hit level 25, which I'm close, get 50% increased damage versus elites and take less damage from elites. So that's what I want to do first. But how they do this is, if you, depending on how high rank the gem is, um, whatever rift difficulty you're doing, um, every time you get you try to reach a new rank. Uh, you have a percentage of failure that increases when you go higher levels, and it decreases when you do higher levels of difficulty. So, that's the trade-off. So, with this one, I have 60%, whereas this, I have 100%, for example. So, I want to do higher difficulties. I don't want to waste it, so I think I'm going to do this one first. Damage reduction. I have it equipped. And see, so it keeps going up a little bit by the, the percentage you see in blue. But then once you hit 25, then you get that secondary legendary ability that you see under the uh, name of the gem. Alright, so let's identify some shit and uh, do some move. I am returning to town. Yes. 
Well done, champion. Plus, if you haven't realized, every time you complete any rift or a greater rift, you get a free level also. Just just for completing it. Sir, Wrath of the Bone King, Zarian. None of those I would use, but pull on to. Other cars. Wow. Fuck. Follower Scar made this one equip that, man. Holy shit. What I need is more offense, and I don't care if she dies, so... I think that's the way to go. Yeah. You are too kind. Sell these, repair, and then we'll attempt 26. My wares. And the greater rift difficulties you see are linked to not only a torment level, but a range of difficulty within that torment level. So it really doesn't matter what torment you're on, you can choose what greater rift level difficulty you want to do. I want to say the highest I've done before is 27, but I could be wrong. I'll have to check. It I, It was in a previous stream. Well, I'll do one more, and then I'll do some engines. I know Torment 7 is too high. Person, I was saying I did 27 before. I could have attempted it. I could have sworn I did it. Did that before. No, I'll, I'll try 26. I'm gonna check the chat right quick. One with that part of the part of the shadow. Fallen, fallen fur. Couldn't say that we are corrupted. Holy crap! Powerful indeed. Holy fuck! These guys are using a weapon. I felt reason why I hate this level because it has a lot of teleport teleporting, so there's a lot of dead ends. Oh, no, I don't dead ends. Gotta try to force side one here. Yeah. 
Play that the first time to hit by elite, I get a shield, and I also have a story where I can still my 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 kind of retreat.
not ready yet. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, that's what it's bad. I don't know what the aura is, but look at that. That looks bad, dude. Perfect Rat whore. Fucker. Wow, he's good. He did good. Increased damage for 55 seconds after killing Elite Pack. I also gain 50% increased damage versus Elites and take 50% reduced damage from Elites. Fuck yes. Now, next one I'll update I'll upgrade is this guy. Which, when I get to level 25, while below 50% life, your resistance is to everything is increased by 75%. Fuck yeah. Cool, but one thing I'm gonna do next, though, since I've we've got some rift action, since it's past um, our first hour in, is now I'm gonna attempt some infernal machines. I'll keep at the same difficulty. Well done, champion. I overflow this. See right quick though if I can't spend some of my blood shards to see if I can get that set piece that I need, the neck piece. Don't be shy. For this. No, not that. Where is it? Wait. This one. If I get the neck piece traveler's pledge, then I can complete the set so I can move and take less damage and stand still and do more damage. Which even though I want to the Shadow Clones are cool. I think it'd be a better ability. But the problem is, I then have to socket my neck piece, whatever it is, to give it Bane of the Powerful. Because you can only put these legendary gems in jewelry. A ring or a <coughs> amulet. Alright, let's try for amulet. Well, it's a good paperweight. Nope. Need to kill something? Alrighty, so check the chatty. Chat's still good. Do a little bit of water, and then we will do Feral Machine. 
So I believe I've only done three of four infernal machines before. Let's see if I can figure out which one I have not done. I've done Putrid Regret and Fright. So the one I haven't done is Terror? Really? Really? Interesting. When I know I've... I know I've done Terror before. Maybe I just didn't get to drop. Because I fought Diablo before. Multiple times. Okay. What if? You see that? <laughs> I like my. Let me. I'm just gonna escape so you can see my car. Uh, my uh, cruiser. That's tainted. Looks like. Matches my color scheme. Pretty cool. Especially my weapon. So since that's the one I haven't done, I'm going to try it first. Realm of Terror, Putrid, Regret, Fright. Maybe I haven't done it. Maybe what I was thinking about was actually Fright. Because I know I did one of these multiple times. Like I said. And what these are, in case you're not aware of, whereas the all of the rifts, it's elite mobs and timed events, this is like a super boss fight. The bosses have additional abilities and you fight multiple bosses at the same time. And that's why typically it's even higher difficulty than a greater rift because you're fighting the boss of that difficulty level. Multiple nightmare versions of them. Cool, here we go. Make sure there's like some chest I can still lose. I'm just obviously missing. 
which I don't think there is, but there's more spectrum here. At least you give you a lot of space to run around from these two bosses. It's not so claustrophobic. I need to go back. I need to go back to town. Nice. So I have. Cool. So it's showing a star, but I don't know what that means. Does that mean now he can make it for me? Or. Or do I have to get the recipe, or... Honestly, I don't know much about it. Probably have to Google that later. Alright, so let me just, uh... Do some mo. Next up is Putridness. up some new things for you to take a look at. Found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. Alright, two more to go. I think Fright's Diablo want to do that one last, because for me, that's the hardest one. and the butterfly girl, whatever her name is. I think it starts with the C. It's the Sakabai, but not, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, so I it's always the same two bosses. 
Or maybe there's a certain boss in the area that are home. damage. Zoltan Cool and Diablo.
that was some fight. Definitely the boss fight of boss fight, huh? That's a better ring for her. She doesn't have rings. That's a better one. Cool, we did it. Did some uh, riffs, grand riffs, and infernal machine riffs. Whew, pretty good, pretty good. So I think with the fact I got a bunch of paragon abilities and my new um, gem stats, I could probably push. I would say I. Could I mean, that was still pretty close, but I could probably push um, Torment 7 for, for all that. For the Greater Rifts and the Infernals, probably. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. I, got I think I have a couple. Two graders left. Cool. Well, uh, I might keep playing, but I'll call it for the stream. Uh, thanks for watching. I want to again. I want to show you a variety of stuff. Now it's just me, just like the rest of whenever we play Diablo, we're doing Paragon. We're trying to find ways to power up your character so you keep pushing those higher difficulties, which then gives you the higher gear, which then they do push higher difficulties. Um, yeah, just to see how, how far I can go. Well, um, so let's see. Today's Friday. Next Friday is not going to be a stream because um, next Friday through the following Friday I'm going to be on vacation so expect my next um, Diablo 3 stream um, three weeks from now three Fridays from now um, but my next stream will be this Sunday 7 p.m. PST and that's going to be uh, my board game stream and I'm going to show you a couple of board games that I got recently that's meant for six to ten players not and it's not a party game so you can have a in in-depth strategy games with large groups of people so if you want to tune in and see what that's all about come check it out otherwise diablo again like i said it's gonna be three fridays from now since i can go on vacation at the time well thanks for watching everybody diablo is always loads of fun and thanks for joining me on this ride again this is is morta and i'll catch you next time